Hello and welcome to another Nightmare on Elm Street remake update. Found some more information about a Nightmare on Elm Street remake Blu-ray disc coming out October 5th of 2010. Alright, there's going to be two audio formats on the Blu-ray disc. Number one, there will be a DTS HD Master audio track and also there will be a Dolby Digital Surround Sound audio track. Dolby Digital Rocks. Woo! Dolby Digital. I'm a Do Dolby Digital guy, you know, that HD Master Audio thing. I, 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 I'm not for that DTS stuff, you know. It's alright, but, you know. I love Dolby Digital, you yeah. know. I'm old school, so I, I'm going with that audio track when I watch the movie. I like the kind of bass sound it gives off on the Dolby Digital, so. I like it. I use that. But anyways, uh, what else is the Blu-ray disc going to come with? Well, it's going to come with a alternate ending and a alternate opening, along with a deleted scene. Now, no details have been released on what the deleted scene is or what um, the alternate opening and alternate ending are going to be. But uh, when I find out, I'll tell you guys. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys some more information about uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Remake Blu-ray Disc. Um, the alternate ending, alternate opening, uh, and deleted scene will be on the BD, BD Live, apparently. They're BD Live exclusive, which means that you will have to have internet hooked up to your Blu-ray player in order to access these special features. Now, Freddy Reborn is not a BD Live uh, exclusive. So you'll be able to watch that through your uh, Blu-ray disc. But uh, I suggest using a uh, PS3 or a uh, Blu-ray player that is hooked up to the internet to watch these special features. Because they are BD Live exclusive, which means you need that. Now, the, this is an unheard of. They also had a BD Live exclusive on the Friday the 13th uh, remake. It was, I believe it was a deleted scene that was on BD Live. So, yeah, Warner Brothers uh, does this a lot. It's um, called, you know, Warner Brothers is um, trying to promote uh, BD Live, which is why a lot of their movies, if you buy any of them, there'll be BD Live exclusives on there. And that gets a lot of people signed up to Warner Brothers um, BD Live, and it makes them a lot of money. So, yeah, it's going to be BD Live. But, uh, you know, BD Live is pretty sweet. I like BD Live. They got some cool special features, you know. And uh, I'm definitely going to check that out on BD Live, yo. Yeah. And uh, uh, the Blu-ray will also come with a DVD copy of the film, of course. And uh, that will be included with the Blu-ray because it's going to be a um, DVD, uh, Blu-ray, and a digital copy. So I think you'll get, um, you can get three copies, uh, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. So you're, you're getting uh, a lot of bang for buck right there, you know what I'm saying? You buy that and you're going, woo, yeah, all right, so yeah. So I, I say buy the Blu-ray disc. It's only a little bit more than the DVD. And even if you don't own a Blu-ray player, um, you'll be able to upgrade later on and, of course, watch. Let's say um, you're like, oh, well, I don't have, um, you know, Blu-ray. Well, you know, maybe one of your friends has a Blu-ray player and you can just take it over to your friend's house. Um, maybe they have you know, be live, and you can just watch the, the deleted scenes at your friend's house, you know. It's a bonus. Just buy the Blu-ray disc, you're going to get the DVD, you're going to get everything that you want, and it's going to be awesome. So I say, buy the Blu-ray disc. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm told totally buying the Blu-ray disc, and, uh, yes. So, uh, that's uh, my update, and I hope uh, all of you have learned a lot. And I am buying this on October 5th of 2010 and I will have a um, blu-ray review of it I'm going to review the sound quality um, of the blu-ray disc I'm gonna review the picture quality I'm gonna review uh, the special features and when I think about it I've already gave uh, the film a 10 out of 10 I think it's a fantastic remake it's actually um, my favorite Nightmare on the Street movie uh, along with uh, the original. The original and the remake to me are like, you know, you know, they're, 
they're like that. You know what I'm saying? They're they're both great, and I like them both. I like Samuel Bayer's version, and I like uh, Wes Craven's version. And I, I really like what uh, Wesley Strick and uh, Eric did with the script. It was amazing. And uh, there's rumors going around that Eric right now, um, Eric is the guy who came up with the micro naps idea, right? And apparently there's rumors going around right now that he is actually writing uh, the script for the sequel to A Nightmare on Elm Street uh, remake. Um, I asked uh, Brad Fuller about that and he said uh, w when the right script comes in there very well could be a sequel. And since the remake all already made over $105 million, you know there's going to be a sequel there. Jackie Earl Haley is signed on for two sequels. Uh, Rooney Mara is signed on to do two sequels. Rooney Mara is also signed on to do uh, the remake of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Um, that was just another remake. Um, she's also going to be starring in the social network. Her career is just going up and up and up. You know, Rooney Mara, of course, is one of my favorite new actresses out there. I think she was fantastic as Nancy in Nightmare on Elm Street remake. I can't wait to see her in uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo remake. I can't wait to see her in The Social Network. And I think she's fantastic. I love Rooney Mara. She's awesome, you know, like awesome. And uh, yeah, she is signed on to do two sequels. Um, and, uh, of course, Brad Fuller is just waiting for that right script to come in. Um, Eric actually just wrote, uh, the prequel to, uh, The Thing. Uh, if you guys didn't know that, uh, there is going to be a, a Thing prequel, apparently. And he just wrote that. And, uh, there's rumors going around that he is writing the sequel to A Nightmare on Elm Street remake. So I hope this, uh, update was, uh, really, you know, I hope you guys got a lot of information from it. Because I really wanted to get everything in there and tell you guys everything, you know, what's going on and everything. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. Platinum Dunes, you know, they're uh, they're a great company. And, and I can't wait to see uh, their other projects that they're working on. They have a lot of things coming up for them. And uh, yeah, so yeah, come on. Show us the Nightmare on Elm Street remake sequel. Come on, Platinum Dunes, you know. And, you know, Brad Fuller uh, contacted me at, back on uh, Twitter and he said, you know, thanks so much for, you know, supporting us and everything through all this, you know. And, you know, I've been there since the beginning supporting this and telling you guys about the trailers and everything about the movie. And, it's you know, and I, immediately when I knew that Jackie Earl Haley was signed on to play Freddy Krueger, um, I was happy. I, I was really happy because... At the time when he was announced that he was playing Freddy Krueger, I had already watched Watchmen and saw his performance in that. And I said, oh my god, that guy is playing the new Freddy Krueger? That is freaking awesome. So I was so excited. And then, you know, I saw Shutter Island. I was like, oh, this guy is going to nail it. And, you know, I, I went on and checked out Little Children. And I was like, this guy is amazing. He's got so many different levels of performance in him. And, you know, everything he does is just amazing. You know, just the way he changes his voice with any character. There's so much diversity in his acting. And I think that's what made him perfect for the new Freddy Krueger. And I love the, how they showed the backstory of Freddy Krueger and everything. I just thought it was amazing. So, I can't wait to see the sequel. And I can't wait to see how um, this comes about. Because, if you didn't know, Nancy wasn't in two Elm Street uh, movies following the original because uh, New Nightmare doesn't count because that was Nancy and it was actually Heather Langkamp, the actress. So it's going to be interesting to see the two sequels to Nightmare Elm Street remake. Anyways, have an awesome night, everybody, and thanks for watching.